Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's the Hand for Game. Hope you have a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Madden video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to level up in Madden 21 as of right now. As you guys know, EA did nerf the previous fastest way to level up, so I tried out a few challenges and I found the fastest way to level up. And if you guys do enjoy this video, if this video does help you out, please do like and comment so it does help me get discovered more on YouTube. And if you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever I upload and it would also help out the channel a lot. But the challenge we'll be talking about will be in the rivals section and it'll be down here in quarter finals challengers and it's this challengers five all you need to do is gain 50 plus yards this drive and you guys start off on your 10 yard line so the objective of this challenge is to gain 50 plus yards this drive so my favorite play to gain 50 plus yards is in gun empty base flex and then four verticals i'm in the raiders playbook then i just streak triangle and then you want to get to the opponent's 40 yard line and then give yourself up to give yourself up on playstation is double tapping square and then to give yourself up on xbox i'm pretty sure it's double tapping x don't quote me on that and then you want to go into no huddle after you go down you want to go into no huddle to go to no huddle for playstation it's holding triangle and then for xbox i'm pretty sure it's holding y like i said i don't play xbox so i'm not completely sure but like i said you want to just throw it to whoever's open so i'm just going to throw it to hill get to the 40 yard line and then go down and then we are going to go into no huddle so i'm going to no huddle this and then this makes it so that way the next when i replay this challenge i start off with the play so i don't have to pick a play so when i go into replay challenge it automatically goes into the play and then i can just streak triangle and then you just do this wash and repeat so we're gonna throw it to r1 this time get to the opponent's 40 yard line give yourself up hold the no huddle button and then replay the challenge and then just do this over and over again so they did nerf the jack youngblood challenge so this is the best challenge i found so far i've tried multiple different challenges and this is the best one i found so far you get 70 xp every time you do this so which isn't much but this is definitely the fastest way to get it done so like i said this is my favorite play if you guys are looking for some fast receivers to do this challenge i recommend henry ruggs john ross there's a couple of other players marquise brown those are all fast budget wide receivers if you need some fast players to do this challenge like I said every time you do it you're getting about 70 xp and if you need to complete the mutt master you can get the touchdown if you want but if you want to level up as quickly as possible then just give yourself up once you cross the 40 yard line but if you need the passing touchdown for your mutt master then go ahead and do that but this is just quicker and i forgot to know huddle but yeah you guys can do this while watching netflix or something it is a little bit uh, uneasy than Jack Youngblood because Jack Youngblood you could just replay and let the computer do it for you but this is also a good way to get your passing yards up or your touchdown so this is the fastest way I found to do this and here's a bonus tip if you want you guys can give yourself up a lot easier if you go to coaching adjustments and put ball carrier on conservative it makes it so that way you can give yourself up easier so usually you have to double tap square if you're on playstation or double tap x if you're on xbox but if you put ball carrier on conservative then all you have to do is tap it once and then you can give yourself up so sometimes when i try to give myself up i dive but this makes it so that way you always give yourself up all you have to do is press the button once and then you give yourself up so this is probably the best challenge i've gotten to get xp like said if you guys know any fast way to level up then be sure to comment down in the comment section below but this is the fastest way you get 70 xp every time you do this this is you know not nearly as good as the jack young blood but after ea nerfed all the challenges this is the fastest way i found so like i said just do it go into no huddle replay the challenge and then do it again so i'm also going to give you another challenge you can do so if you feel like this is a little bit too hard or not too hard but too energetic and you want to do something more relaxing then i'm gonna give you another challenge you can do so as you guys can see you guys can gain about 70 xp per time you do the challenge and it only takes about 20 seconds to do the challenge so about on average about every 20 seconds you're about getting 70 xp that's about 200 xp every minute so that's the fastest i found to do this and like i said if you have any faster way to level up then be sure to comment down in the comment section below but if you want a more relaxing way then you can do the jack youngblood challenge if you want it's more relaxing but the downside is that you won't level up as fast and you also won't be getting the passing yards for your master so that's the only bad part but if you want like a mind numbing and just relaxing thing then you can just do jack youngblood october 31st just do this over and over at one star and you can let the computer pick the return or return the kick for you so all you have to do is kick or choose one of the return kick plays like return left return middle and then let the computer return the kick for you replay the challenge pick a play let the computer return the kick for you and then wash and repeat so it's not as fast and you won't get passing yards but it is more relaxing than the rivals but the rivals is the fastest way to level up as of right now 
and I do highly recommend you guys get to max level as soon as you guys can because you guys will be getting these mutt level rewards so once you reach level 51 you get a fantasy pack where you can pay money for it I am no money spent so I probably won't be getting that because obviously it costs money level 52 you get a gold premium pack I kind of wish it was like an elite player pack because, you know, gold premium, I haven't had too much luck with the gold premium packs. But level 53, you get a power pass, which is kind of weird. Usually you only get power passes every five levels, so it's kind of weird. They give a power pass when you reach level 53, but, you know, nonetheless, we'll take it. Level 54, 30k. Level 55, more level challenges to upgrade your Andre Johnson. Level 56, more money packs. 57, more level challenges. Level 58, a gridiron pack, which, once again, I haven't had too much luck with the gridiron packs either, but maybe with the boosted odds in Series 2, maybe, you know, we'll get more lucky. 30k. And then level 60, it's a 89 to 90 power pass. Be sure to comment down below who are you going to use that power pass on right now. I'm between either using on Bo Jackson or Lawrence Taylor. I still have no idea who I'm going to use it on. I'm either going to use it on one of those two, and you will also get increased daily objectives. So right now, the daily objectives worst you're going to get is 5,000 coins. I'm guessing once you reach level 60, the level 60 daily objectives, the worst you'll probably be getting is probably 6,000 coins. So you want to make sure you get to max level as soon as you can. So I will probably try to get max level tonight. At least try. Probably not, but I'm going to try to get to max level tonight. Like I said, I am sad that they nerfed the Jack Youngblood challenge but you can do that challenge over and over again and get 70 xp per time so i'm pretty sure they nerfed the uh, complete game challenge because once you completed a challenge you used to get 150 xp now you only get 50 xp every time you complete a challenge so literally i don't think there's any other challenge that'll give you more than 70 xp that quickly so i do believe that'll be the fastest one for a long time unless a new challenge comes out but yeah do that challenge if you want to level up. But if this video has helped you out, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do like and comment so it does help me get discovered more on YouTube. And if you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell. So that way you guys get notified whenever I upload and it, was, it would also help out the channel a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Hands Free Gamer. Remember to love God through your heart, mind, soul, strength, and to love your neighbors as yourself. God bless. Watch hands. Stay home. Stay safe. Peace. Also, for those of you who stay to the end, I'm just going to real quick open this gridiron pack because who knows, I might pull something good. 86 Dan Marino. Now, if you have any cards to sell, you always want to wait until, you know, I'm probably going to wait till midweek to sell these cards because right now the market has crashed. So I'm definitely not going to be selling any of these cards right now. So gridiron, this is my, ooh, Kawan short. That might actually be going for a decent amount. But yeah, that was definitely not a bad pack. So just a bonus pack at the end of this video, but peace.